So with Legacy giving us all these good molds of characters that we haven't gotten in a long time, it was about time for a, a figure that wasn't so good. That being the Legacy Shadow Striker, which she could have been perfect if not for one small case of parts forming. So today we are taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Shadow Striker. Starting off in vehicle mode, Shadow Striker turns into a type of car. Now this isn't what she looked like in Cyberverse and it's definitely not what Sideburn looked like in Robots in Disguise. So I don't really know what they were going for here, I think they tried ma mashing them together because she is a pre-tool for, for Sideburn obviously, but like taking a look at it there's all these little details which they do look good but they also look off. I think this would have been the one case where using a existing mold would have worked way better for her. But as it is, she does look good. I love how the roof slopes and everything. Now, my one doesn't peg in all that well, so it kind of just sits up. That That's really annoying. I do love the little molding in it, though. And the engine sticking out the front is a nice little detail. I just wish it looked a little more accurate to either how Sideburn looked in Robots in Disguise or how Shadow Striker looked in Cyberverse. Also, if you're doing Shadow Striker, why won't you do the Frankenstein style one where she's got mix, mix mash colours? Because I think that's the more recognisable version of her. But the vehicle mode does at least look good. Like the nice uh, shade of these blue for the headlights, I love it. I like the engine block detail. Now it does stick out a bit more than I'd like it to, but it does look nice. I love the, how the wheels look, I love the little details on the doors. I like how the back panel looks, That, but that piece does annoy me, I'll get to that in transformation. But yeah, she looks really good in vehicle mode. I just wish it was more accurate to to either Sideburn or a Cyberverse model, because this is a really strange looking vehicle. But at least she looks kind of good in vehicle mode, so I try to take some pictures, so here they are. Transformation is garbage. That's because they decided to make her parts form. I've said it before, I hate parts forming. Faux forming, I can get past. But parts forming, I just can't. And normally they do it to get her looking better in robot mode. But here it just doesn't work. Like, sure, she transforms and she holds in place. But like, you shouldn't have to parts form in order to transform something. I mean, I could see how how you wouldn't be able to really make her transform without the parts forming here. But like, it's not good. Like, the roof can, of course, stay plugged into the hand. But what do you do with the back plate? It's just... It's just not good. I've said it before, parts forming just shouldn't be a thing. But at least it's kind of good and getting her into robot mode is a bit pain because nothing wants to budge once she's in vehicle mode so moving her into robot mode is a bit hard. And after all that, here we are in robot mode where she doesn't look good. It's the parts forming, it really ruined it, but starting off, we'll go up to the head, the only good part I like about this figure, because it actually looks like Shadow Striker. I love how it captures her look from the show, she looks amazing, and then moving down to the body, it just doesn't work. Like, she's a pre-tool for Sideburn, That that's obvious. But doing that means she she sacrifices everything that made her look great in Cyberverse. Like, 
this chest, sure, it's a nice addition, but it doesn't work with her. And it does sit a bit too flat, and because of how she transforms, that makes her arm, arm sit way behind her neckline, which means they look really awkward in shots and everything. Like, sure, you can get them in positions where they look fine, but they don't look good in just normal poses. Her waist, it... Her waist is fine, there's not much issue there, but like her legs are really thin, and in Cyberverse they had really thick legs, so it looks weird here. Uh, the back plate, I could take a lever, I don't need these little door flaps back here, it kind of emulates a cape. At least they did get the wheels on the back of her, because that's how she had them in the show, but like... Sure, there's nice little greeblings like in the arms and along the legs, but she just doesn't look that good to me personally. The only part that I really like is the head. And it doesn't help that in order to make sure you don't lose the pass falling pieces, you just strap them to her arms, bulking her up even more and ruining her silhouette. Which, I mean, it's not that good, but like, there's not much I can do about it, but, I mean, her head looks good at least. Posability wise, it's not that good. Starting off, her head is on a reverse ball joint, meaning her head can go slightly back, it can go down, and it can swivel, just the forward and back look a bit weird. The arms are hinged from the back, which is really bad. I uh, mean, they can go all the way up, nothing back, and they can swivel out to the side. I hate this joint. It worked on the core class rat trap. It does not work here. There's bicep swivel. Arms pull just under a 90, which is not good. Wrists have swivels. Waist has a swivel. Legs are unimpeded in all directions as long as you move the back kibble out of the way. Uh, there's thigh swivel, knees pull about a 90, and the feet can fold forward. Accessory wise, you get these two parts forming pieces. One can be used as a shield, it won't be a good shield because most of it's glass. The other, I have no clue what to do with the back bumper, bumper piece, it just sits on her arm, I can't really do anything with it. Like, these parts are not that good. And she also gets her gun, which the gun at least looks good, and there's actually a little handle with a tab for some reason. They can place into her arm and give her like a sword knife thing. I'm not really sure. It was something that the original Shadow Striker toy had, so they carried it over here. It's cool, I guess. Like, the parts forming pieces really drag the accessories down. But Shadow Striker kind of looks good enough, so I had to try and put her in some poses, so here they are. This has been the review for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Cyberverse Universe Shadow Striker. Tell me, what do you think of this figure? Did you pick her up? Do you like her? Or do you skip her entirely? Personally, I wish I had skipped her entirely. The parts forming really drags her down. It's really annoying. I've made my case clear on parts forming all the way back when I did a review on Cliff Jumper. But... Tell me what do you think of her? Thanks for watching.